<laughs> oh, what's up, guys? How you guys doing? How are you? <laughs> I'm great, and yourself? Great, thanks. Yeah, so man. How are you? I'm currently in my studio. This is the Tadderon Baby Studio, as you guys can see. Uh, this is the XA Shop Fit. Is uh, one of my Ooh. most favorite segments. Oh, that's my puppy now, Ruby. Mm -hmm. I sit. Uh, <laughs> studio was actually sponsored by Lenovo. So shout out to them. Oh, nice. They helped me with the. A lot of things you see inside of the couch, the green screen, all of the things. But yeah, this is my studio. Let's be preparing my dog for a walk. Hi. Hey, Ruby. Hey, how, have walk? Been fine. how have you been finding the studio? Oh, the studio's amazing. Ruby, sit. Good puppy. The studio's amazing. Uh, obviously, like we've been investing more. Like I just got the soft boxes, uh, a lot of different things, the tripod stands, cameras, equipment. I'm loving the studio. I'm loving the green screen. Uh, I love, completely, completely love working here. This is where I work and this is where I play. Uh, do a lot of my editing here. And yeah, I've actually been using this for a couple of weeks now. The Idea Pad 3. So shout out to Lenovo for that. How has your Come life changed since the Spotlight, YouTube, social media, public in general? Yo, it's been quite a change, yeah, online. I mean, your life is out there. People see what you do on a day-to-day -day basis. But it's been a lot of fun. I think YouTube really changed my life because I was meant to be an industrial engineer. I graduated last year. I had a, a, you know, a good graduate program to go to. Come Ruby. But, uh, you know, obviously this is making the most sense. So it's changed my life quite a bit and it's been a lot of fun. Uh, I'd name this chapter in my life change. I've been going through a lot of change. Uh, I was a student and now I'm a full-time digital entrepreneur. You know, I was stressed about a lot of different things. Now I have to make decisions about where I want to be in, in life. Like, do I want to be a YouTuber forever? Do I want to go on TV? Do I want to go on radio? Do I want to, do I want to train dogs? Do I want to, you know, go to puppy schools? Uh, do I want to get a new car? Do I want to get a new place? Do I want to live, do I want to live in Pretoria? It's, a lot of change is happening, so I definitely tattle this, this part of my life change. Cool. Let's five facts about you that people don't know. Obviously, we know you're on YouTube, but <laughs> yeah. that's something that you feel like People, will know. People don't know. Uh, number one, I'd have to say uh, I'm lactose intolerant. I, I've almost died about three times from milk. <laughs> uh, so I've been doing a lot of lactose uh, intolerant things like the products, like, you know, lactose free milk. Another thing is, people don't know this, but I actually really, really love gaming. I'm a big fan of Apex Legends. I'm a big fan of a lot of games. I'm actually a big gamer, but that doesn't mean I'm a good gamer. I just, you know, enjoy gaming. Uh, when I was younger, I wanted to be a pilot. That's one thing I wanted to do for a very long time. But obviously, due to ah, no, we put it down. Due to my parents saying like, yeah, my dad. I remember my, I remember my dad. He was like, dude, you want to be a pilot, but uh, what happens when you travel? Your wife? <laughs> What's gonna happen? Another thing, I love shoes. I'm a big fan of shoes. Shoes are an everything for me. I just can't afford the ones I want yet. And South Africa never really has stock. Um, another one, I love winter. Winter is definitely my favorite thing. Uh, let's just actually jump over to. Well, I'm using my girlfriend's car today because she's got uh, more space for the puppy. Time traveling on visibility, uh, definitely time traveling. I feel like I was meant to be born in the Stone Ages, born in the olden times, because uh, I'm a big fan of those types of movies. So definitely, definitely time traveling. Also, we're gonna go back to the past or the future, man. Sweet or sour? Sweet or sour? Ah, definitely sweet. I am a big, big, big fan of sweets. Big, big fan of things that just taste sweet and a big, big fan of milkshakes. I used to, look at the milkshakes, a big fan of sugar. I used to love milkshakes, sweets, chocolates, white chocolates. Yeah. <laughs> Get very chocolate, that man. Big fan of sweets. Cool. Uh, pizza on pineapple, what's your favorite? Is it a yes or is it a no? It's a yes. It's a yes. Wow. Okay. Reason? Uh, for the longest time, I used to think it was the wackest thing ever. Right. But uh, now, it's exit. But right now I feel like it makes the most sense. Like it, it gives you that sweet and savory type of vibe. Hey Roby, he's on pineapple. <laughs> okay. okay, what's on your bucket list this year? Bucket list on this year, yeah. This one's a tricky one, but I definitely want to get my first car coming very soon. I want to move out and I want to connect myself with my partner forever. <laughs> if I can say that, yeah. Oh, no, excited about that. <laughs> Roby, excited? Summer or winter? But you said winter. What's yeah. your reason for loving winter so much? Winter. Yes. Winter fits. The clothes you can wear in winter are crazy. But I love the clothes you can wear in winter. I'm a big fan of jackets. Like I think my closet just consists of jackets. Off my mom, off my girlfriend. I love jackets, especially from Zara. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of moms and families, what's the weirdest nickname you've ever gotten from family or your friends? Yo, I had a lot of nicknames growing up. Tattoo. 
Uh, my second name is Tommy, so my guy used to call me Tommy Boy. Uh, Big Show. <laughs> my cousin used to call me Big Show for a very, very long time. A lot of different names, but yeah, those are the funniest ones. Because yeah. Big Show, because you're not from wrestling. Yeah, that's <laughs> mm. Beach or pool? pool? Beach or pool? Waves, beach. Standard procedure. I love going into the waves, I love going up and down, I love the thrill. Sometimes you feel like you're dying. <laughs> so it makes it really fun for me. But you still go inside, you have a great time. So definitely beach. <laughs> What's the smartest advice you've ever gotten which you still follow today? Uh, a lifetime of opportunity a lifetime of an opportunity has a lifetime of its own. Father told me that basically resembles that you know in life there will be a lot of opportunities and they can be huge but if you don't take them in that lifetime of that opportunity yeah. it might be too late what's your next big goal my next big goal my next goal is to get to a hundred thousand subscribers man i've been working i've been working so hard to get to that point in life and it's something that i'm really really you know excited to get to so i think i'm on 94,000, 93,000 when this video drops 93 so i hope you guys can help me get to a hundred saga uh yeah also welcome to my favorite dog park <laughs> thank you for bringing us no problem at all so tato how did you discover this park this park i used to bring my dog here a lot for walks uh walking around the neighborhood i actually saw it and yeah man she loved it i loved it we all loved it and it made the most sense she's got such a high energy dog man so yeah it made sense to me whoa ruby Naruby, come here She's a, she's a mixed, she's a mixed Steffi. Get Yeah, play time. <laughs> uh, man, I love the place. I want to visit Nairobi one day. It's such a place I want to see. Beautiful place, beautiful people. But yeah, made the most sense for me. Nice. Okay, so what's... Nairobi, come here. Yeah, what's sit. What's one habit that you're really, really trying to achieve working with? I actually started boxing <laughs> and dog training, so I'm, I'm really hoping that I get into boxing. Uh, something that I love to do, man. I actually want to fight some YouTubers. <laughs> I might do an exhibition, fight for fun one day. But yeah, boxing is something that I love doing. So, the Lenovo Idea Pad 3 has narrow bezels for larger display, which means more viewing space for your favorite entertainment. Mm -hmm. So with that being said, yeah. what do you spend most of your time watching? YouTube, uh, series, movies? Definitely watching, definitely YouTube. I'm always doing research. Uh, I'm always, you know, trying to see other YouTubers who I'm, who is creating content like me, get collaborations, have fun, have a good time. So definitely YouTube, and that's the best answer. Roby, bring back the toy. How is YouTube being to the public space? There's always webcam accidents and it's funny accidents. Yeah, there's not so funny. The accidents. man's always watching. So now with the Lenovo IdeaPad 3 having the shutter the shutter camera. Oh yes, I love that feature. Seat. Yes. What's the funniest thing that's ever happened to you on video call? Or it will never happen again because of the new laptop though. Uh, <laughs> nice one. <laughs> the funniest thing that's happened to me, uh, man, I once, I once, I once like completely farted so loud oh. on a video call and the person just couldn't believe it. So that's one thing that I did. And yeah, very, very embarrassing. Do you remember the first email address you ever created or would you still use the same one? Yeah. If you still use the same one, don't tell us. No, I remember it. It's actually, it was Hot Boy. Oh no. Hot Boy, Hot Boy Tato. Hot Boy Tato. One, two, three, four, something like that. It's very young, don't judge me. Emails were exciting at the time. Fetch! Do you ever, do you ever have your laptop fully charged or do you live life on the edge? I'm always fully charged. And most of the time I fully charge because I'm always on the move. So like, for example, the IdeaPad 3, that one I love it because the battery just helps you live smarter. So I'm always on the move, <laughs> just trying to drift me there. And I'm always, you know, working, traveling, shooting, editing on set, on set. So I, I need a laptop that's, you know, has a good battery. Get it. Jump over. Oh man, I wish you jump over. Touch screen. I personally use the Flex 5 most of the time. It's touch screen. It makes it so much more fun to work, man. So definitely touch screen. I know I asked you about five facts, but I gave you time to think. Yeah. I want five facts about you in ten seconds. Five facts about me in ten seconds. I'm actually gonna put, I'm gonna put on the timer. <laughs> oh my word. Yeah. Ten seconds. So 
I'm starting now. I love Nairobi, I love my mom, I love my girlfriend, I love my brother, I love my sister. <laughs> okay, nice. <laughs> I can see you spend a lot of time with your dog. Yeah, it's my How best friend. How many hours do you spend on your laptop? On my laptop in a day. Scary. <laughs> I'm an editor, man. I edit all my YouTube videos. I only got an editor recently, so I can be on my laptop for up to six hours on a day, eh? Wow. Oh, she grabbed it before I threw it. Deciding where to move, where to live. I need to, I need to get a place next year for me and my girlfriend. And uh, I'm like, do I go in Pretoria? Do I live in Joburg? Do I live in Cape Town? Do we live in Durban? You know what I'm saying? What's the biggest challenge you face that helped you get here today? Being able to plan. Planning is so important. It helps you really grow as a content creator. So. Being able to create a structure for you to create videos, to shoot, to post on Instagram, to be brand friendly, to look good, to work hard. That's, that was my biggest struggle because I would just go with the flow. Yeah. Hey, Ruby. Back on the savvy question. Break. Yeah. Two. Do you use Sit. The internal keyboard or an external keyboard for your laptop? I use the internal keyboard. I love the internal keyboard. I prefer it. The external keyboard is cool and everything, but it's just. I work like this, I work into my laptop, I don't, I don't like working further from it, you know? Yeah. Two. Sit. Down. Let's Hold it. Five things you use your laptop. Break. Uh, YouTube. <laughs> Editing YouTube videos. <laughs> Watching YouTube videos. <laughs> uh, video calls, meetings, Zoom meetings, Google Meet meetings. Uh, yeah. The Lenovo IdeaPad 3 is equipped with Dolby Audio for crystal clear sound. Could you give us a glimpse of any playlist that you have? Or if you don't have a playlist, maybe your favorite artist at the moment? I can sing you, can sing you a song that I'm really liking. Song, really? Yeah. It's an Una Ram song. Totorali, I'll play for you guys in the background. Uh, Three, two, one. Exactly, that's one of my favorite songs right now. Come, Ruby! Thank you, Tato, so much for letting me into your life, letting us into your life, and into your life, and getting to know you better. Uh, thanks for having me, guys. Thank you for bringing us to your dog park. Yeah, <laughs> one day you guys should come with your dogs. <laughs> Yeah, but thanks so much for watching, uh, guys. This was the Live Smarter episode. You can see we're going through the 73 questions with Vogue vibe. <laughs> Got a whole bunch more new things coming your way on my channel. Uh, this is in partnership with Lenovo. So shout out to my brothers and sisters at Lenovo. I appreciate you guys so much. To more content, to more amazing things. Roby, hold it down. Can you say extra shout who's it? Break. <laughs> Bye, guys.